Hello again, this is Uncle Milo, and this is Uncle Milo Explains number 13, Batteries and How to Keep Your Cell Phone Fresh. Now, this being episode 13, episode 13 is a very special number. Obviously, the American flag has 13 stripes, there were 13 colonies in America. 13 is a very important number. And this is the most important episode that I'll record, probably, of all of my episodes, because this concerns something that's central to our modern technology, batteries, and how to keep your cell phone fresh. Okay, the problem is, Everybody's got a cell phone. I have one too, right here. Okay, it's 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 got to stay fresh. How often do you see people who say, "My cell phone's dead. The battery died." Well, there's no reason for that to happen except that people don't know how batteries work. Now, I have a standard spiel. I'm constantly telling people how to keep the batteries fresh. I'm so tired of having to say it again and again and again. It needs to be an Uncle Milo explains episode, and this is critical. Number one, modern technology uses lithium ion batteries. Like this. This is a lithium ion battery. When you see that L I O N, that means it's a lithium ion. Could say lithium poly, poly but basically, if it's a lithium rechargeable battery, there's a certain way you have to approach it. Okay, here's my car. And there is the battery. Now that is a new battery. What happened was, a couple of times, I let the battery go all the way to almost dead. After the second time, I said, I'm going to need a new battery. Went to get my oil changed. The guy came back. He said, your battery is shot. It's down to half power, and it won't work well when it gets cold. And I said to him, I knew this was going to happen. $200. I had to buy a new battery. Car batteries must stay charged a hundred percent charge all the time for that they have over here they usually have somewhere over here is an alternator in the engine that alternator runs all the time and keeps that battery fresh all the time and that's what you got to do with a car battery so it's the same thing with your cell phone if it has a lithium battery any appliance with a lithium battery you've got to keep it charged fully 100%. Now, here's the thing. You can let it drop down as much as 50%, but never, ever try to let it drop below 50%. A car battery, if you let it drop down to 20%, two or three, four times, that's dead. The manufacturers love that. They want to sell you batteries. They want to sell you a car battery. There's two advantages to that. They make batteries so they can really easily fall apart and they can deliver a lot of cranking power. The two go hand in hand. With, with lithium batteries, they haven't been made yet so that they fall apart when they get a very low discharge. So what the manufacturer does not tell you is that if the that lithium battery gets all the way down to, let's say, you know, it cuts out after, after about 10% power and the system says shutting it down, well, that damages your battery. You lose maybe 2% of your power. And then you charge it back up, but you have less power. The reason I know about this is because I had my first experience with lithium batteries. I tried to treat them like NICADs, and I'll explain about NICADs in a few minutes. But I kept on running it down all the way. I destroyed my first set of lithium ion batteries. And what a mistake that was, because it was a video camera that I can't, couldn't afford to replace. Now, for the camera that I'm using right now to filming this with, I bought the biggest, baddest battery that I could get. The regular battery was like this, and I got this big battery. After four years, that battery is still retaining almost 100% of its charge, because I keep it charged all the time. I keep it on the charger unless I'm actually using the camera. Same thing with cell phones. Charge them up every night to 100%. When you're using it during the day, it shouldn't get down below maybe 65%, 70%. If it gets below 50% on a regular basis, you are going to eventually lose your battery. Now, the manufacturers know this. They know that your lithium battery, if you let it get down to 25%, 20%, 15%, then you charge it up at night, but what's going to happen is it's going to really ruin its long-term capability of charging. Then they get to sell you a new battery, or if it's a lithium-powered appliance that doesn't have a replaceable battery, they get to sell you a new appliance. They don't care. I even saw a computer manufacturer who has this little thing that pops up and it says, to keep your battery fresh, only charge it to 50%, click here to change your settings. And I'm thinking like, what? They charge 200 plus dollars for a replacement battery. No wonder they want me to do that. I keep it charged to 98, 99%. I've never had any trouble with my uh, computer battery at all. Proof. 
This is a PDA. This is before iPhones came out. This is an iPack 951. And this, I replaced the battery in 2004. This is 13 years old. It still runs strong. It's, I turned it on, took it off the charger. It read 90%. The battery's starting to get funky. It doesn't hold 100% of the charge, but it'll go for a day or two, and it'll stay, still say after over 24 hours, it'll say 57% power, then I put it back on charge. 13 years, and it's still running pretty good. The battery's getting a little lumpy. It really wasn't designed to run that long, but 13 years of power, that's pretty good, and it stayed that way. But I had only had this a month, and I accidentally let it run all the way down. I was using this every day. After I let it run all the way down one day, the next day it wouldn't hold the charge the full day. It just ruined the battery. So I put it on, left it on the charger for about a week. After a week, I'd run it and it'd be down only about to about 65% by the time I had to put it back on the charger in the evening. And it's been in good shape ever since. Okay, one quick thing I do have to throw in. Lithium batteries hate being cold. If it's below 40 degrees outside, don't let your lithium battery get down below that. If it gets down too cold, it begins to eat itself and it runs out of power real quick. I ran into that with my very first lithium batteries. They haven't gotten any better. Cell phones still give me that trouble. They get cold, they get weak, boom, done. So you've got to keep them warm. Stick them under your armpit, stick them in your pocket, keep them close to your body, keep them under your coat. Do not use a lithium battery in cold weather. It will, even for the camera that I'm using, if it gets too cold, that cam, that big battery I've got is going to stop working. So you've got to keep your lithium batteries warm. Okay, now, I've told you about all you need to know, so I'll just go on. If you want to keep watching, I'll explain some history and some other stuff. This is interesting if you want to keep watching. Otherwise, I've explained to you everything you need to know. Oh, I'll tell you one more thing. Something's got to give. If you have a charging pack, like one of these... Uh, cell phone uh, pa charging packs, that pack also has a lithium battery. You use that one to boost your battery. Now my daughter does that. She takes her phone to school. She's the only one in her class sometimes who's got a cell phone that's still working in the middle uh, by the end of the day. And the reason she does that is uh, she's got a great big powerful recharge pack. And she, as soon as her phone gets down to 70%, she puts it on there and boosts it back to 100%. The recharge pack uses lithium batteries. And that means that recharge pack eventually is going to go. But that's okay. You can buy another recharge pack, but the phone is going to be okay. Something's got to give if you have everything with lithium technology. All right. So, continuing a little bit of history. Some people will tell you, and it's now become an ur urban legend. You got to let your battery get all the way down to zero every once in a while, or it's no good. Well, that goes back to years and years ago. It was 40 years ago that I first began to encounter NICAD batteries. Now, NICAD batteries, when people got them, they thought, oh, I'll treat it just like a car battery. I know my car battery has to be kept charged 100%. I remember visiting a guy's desk, and he had left his calculator. Back then, pocket calculators were expensive as pocket computers. And he had left his charger uh, for his um, calculator fully charged all the time. His NICAD batteries were ruined. NICAD batteries, if you do not deep discharge them at least once a month, they just sort of squeeze up and they just stop working right. I have many times, many times, taken NICAD batteries that were just apt, seemed like they were ruined, done a deep discharge on them the last two seconds, charge them up again, they charge up for 10 seconds, deep discharge them again, they go a little longer, charge them up again, discharge them and as I go through this they begin to recover their capacity and all of a sudden they'll just hit the charge and they'll charge for an hour or two then discharge it for a long time hit it for another charge cycle after four or five charge cycles the NICAD battery comes back that's a good thing but that's NICAD batteries NI-CD then because NICAD batteries had this problem that if you didn't deep discharge them they would would sort of freeze up they had the memory effect they came out with nickel metal hydride rechargeables those things are sort of like a medium period. You can keep them pretty much topped off most of the time. They sometimes give out, what I found with nickel metal hydride batteries, and most of the double A's are, are like that. Here, this is a nickel metal hydride double A rechargeable battery. 
that kind of rechargeable battery, after a few years, gets a little funky. It'll charge fully, but it'll sort of self-discharge if you leave it alone for, a, for about a week. It won't hold a charge for a long time. It's just nickel metal hydride batteries kind of are funky. Lithium batteries are much better. They seem to hold a charge better. They hold a fully full charge for a long time. They seem to really work out nicely, and I'm very happy with lithium batteries. The only problem with lithium batteries, as I said, is don't let them get discharged fully. NICADs, you've got to deep discharge them. Solar lights. Solar lights always have NICADs because they'll charge up fully during the day and then they'll discharge the entire way by morning time your solar light is out. And that's because they've used up all their electricity. Great for a NICAD. You throw a NICAD in there, you get a thousand charge discharge cycles. That's like three years. That's good. For a solar light, you pay a couple of bucks for, and that's fine. And then you throw it out and replace it. Now, I've been talking about rechargeable batteries. I prefer, if it's a situation where I can't get to a charger easily, I do prefer to use disposable batteries. Disposable batteries come in three basic types. The cheapest is the old, the old zinc carbon battery, then there's alkalines, and then there's the lithiums. The zinc carbon batteries, the last of the zinc carbons, are what they call the super heavy duty. They're actually pretty good these days, and if you're running an appliance that uses LEDs, you're okay. So, so this is what I mean by a super heavy duty. This is a, basically, it's a zinc carbon battery, the last of the zinc carbon batteries, the best that they ever made. It's still not very good. I prefer the alkalines. Alkaline batteries. I've been buying them since the 80s. I love them. They are, however, disposable, and if you put them to appliance, you better have a pocket full of stuff. They don't hold the kind of power that a lithium power pack can, and they're useful in situations, well, you have to judge. Is it okay to use a rechargeable where you have to constantly keep it charging, or do I use something with alkaline cells? For video game appliances, like the old Game Boys, I like the Game Boys where you didn't have to recharge the battery and honestly that was very good because I could put them away take the batteries out just let them sit for a few years and come back and use them but on the other hand if you've got a modern Nintendo DS or 3DS you got to keep the thing charged so I stick them keep them charged up fortunately lithium batteries even if you don't have them plugged into the charger and you don't use them they'll hold a charge very very well for a long time alkaline battery now, this is what I'm talking about. This is my favorite disposable battery. I can't afford the lithium batteries. Once in a while, I'll buy them. They used to have to be used for digital cameras. Nowadays, we use our cell phones. Um, so I can't afford the lithium batteries. They're hideously expensive. Alkaline batteries are relatively cheap. They last a long time. They're called alkaline batteries because the zinc carbon batteries are based upon an acid paste, and these use an alkaline paste. So instead of an acid, this is a base, and when they leak, actually cause less trouble than the old acid-based batteries were. They still cause trouble when they leak and I've got to go and clean things out but for the most part I've had very good success with alkaline batteries and they store really well. Here's the thing I can tell you about alkaline batteries versus the old zinc carbon batteries. Zinc carbon batteries you have to stick them in the fridge in order to keep them fresh. You can keep fresh for a year or two. Alkaline batteries will keep fresh for 10 years or more but never stick them in the fridge. Within a month or two, if you stick them in the fridge, the alkaline battery will go bad for some reason. Might be because the condensation causes them to short out. But basically, alkaline batteries, store them at room temperature. I've pulled out stuff that says it was supposed to be used up 10 years after installation, and it's five years past that install, and they're still working fine. So I've had good success with alkaline batteries. So, okay, to sum up, Keep your batteries fully charged if they're lithium batteries. Just keep them charged, okay? Don't ever let them run down below 50%. Keep them charged if they're lithium batteries. If they're NICADs, go all the way down to zero and back up. Don't believe the urban myth that you have to cycle lithium batteries. You'll wreck your battery if you let it discharge all the way. You want to keep it fully charged at all times. If you do that, your lithium battery-based appliance will be happy with you. Let it get discharged all the way. By mistake, get it charged up as fully as you can for a long time before you try that again. If you have to use a, a power pack, power booster pack, it's fine to use a lithium battery-based power booster pack because you're going to sacrifice that before you sacrifice your appliance. Keep it charged. All right, thank you for watching Uncle Milo Explains number 13, batteries and how to keep your cell phone fresh.